Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a tape stop effect in Ableton Live uh, using MIDI clips. In the last video I showed you how to do it, achieve this uh, way effect um, by using audio clips. So, uh, first off, you, uh, I'm going to insert an audio track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send uh, the audio of the plugin that I'm using or the MIDI device or whatever you're using to generate the sound to this uh, audio uh, track that I inserted. Next, I'm going to go to Omnisphere, the Omnisphere track. And then I'm going to send the audio from Omnisphere to track six. And I'm going to rename track six. Sphere out. Okay, I'm gonna hit set auto and then I'm gonna hit no input okay next i'm just going to arm this track for recording and then i'm going to hit the record button and play that I like to use so let me just delete that and I'm going to consolidate I'm going to disable this clip so don't get any uh, double playback so and I disabled it by pressing the zero button on my keyboard next is I'm going to select the audio and then I'm going to isolate the portion that I would like to add the effect to and I'll be this here let me zoom in a little bit and then next I'm going to go to complex and then I'm gonna hit the envelopes button it's already open already but if it's not for you just hit the envelope button then it goes to transposition modulation next add your, your you can zoom in and add your breakpoint wherever you like the effect to begin and it's gonna be right here and I'm gonna add an ending breakpoint right there and I'm gonna just drag that down to about so and there you have it uh, then I'll just Consolidate it, and uh, let's let's play it and see how it sounds. It's pretty simple. So that's basically how you uh, you can do a tape stop effect in Ableton Live uh, without having to freeze or flatten your tracks.